the plastic cup. Wild and mysterious. Join us as we explore life after disposal. A newborn searches for food. Its wide mouth intakes a diet of dirt, mud, rice, twigs, glass, leaves, and plastic. The newborn's exterior is sleek with defined ribs. We catch these two still wet with amniotic fluid. Maturation may result in any of infinite permutations. The one thing remains constant, its sensitivity to light. But too much exposure leads to skin disease. Two thousand miles north of the Galapagos Islands is this breeding ground for cups, where onlookers gaze in amazement. Its nest of leaves provides essential protection from harsh conditions where remains are scattered about. Like the charred skeleton of this cup, The conditions prove too taxing for this cup. Who retreats to a roadside refuge. Caging the animal is common. As is tagging for identification. Though it is only free of ties in the wild, where the cup shines. In the road, cups skate atop the pavement, flipping, floating free. Though dangers arise in traffic where cups are brutally crushed and tossed about. Pavement is also the host of this species' combat with other ground dwellers. A standoff could last for days. Off-road, a cup and a rival receptacle battle for territory. It's a constant rubbish war between predator and prey. Sometimes it's a war among the species, as we see here in their aggressive nature, cannibalistic tendencies. At heart, however, it is a peaceful creature, friendly to fellow litter. The plastic cup, in all of its incarnations, resourceful, resilient, and eternally fleeting.